so welcome to this video on external division of a line segment uh, the question reads a point a 2,4 and point b 4,6 are the endpoints of segment a b find the point p that divides it in the ratio of negative 3 is to 5 so i want to give you two approaches here and you allow me to write here the first approach in other words uh, the method that you can use so we have two methods here and this one will be the second approach so the first approach here we're going to invoke the ratio theorem and the other one will be more or less like a formula so let's get started allow me to make a sketch here very quickly so make a little sketch here so i know point p divides line a b externally so point p is outside and this is my a that's my b so we have the ratio minus 3 is to 5 so it means i'm moving three units from a that's one two three to go to p then move five units from p to a so in other words i'm talking of a p is to p b is equals to minus 3 is to 5 right so why I have drawn this is because I want to take this one as my origin and then I use my vectors here to actually determine the coordinates of P. So I'll call this one my little b vector, and this one my little a vector. So my motivation is to express uh, OP in terms of little a and little b respectively. So one thing we are going to do is to determine the vector a b vector a b is give, going to be equal to um, a o plus o b and so this is going to be minus a plus b which is b minus a all right that's very easy to determine how do we get a p to get a p we are going to say it's the fraction you know ap is a fraction of uh, ab and that fraction is um minus three out of the sum of the entire line ab so this is going to be minus three out of two of ab so we can express this one in terms of a and b so we have this is b minus a here and so this is minus three over two little b minus should be plus now 3 over 2 vector a okay so how do you get op so op is going to be equal to so we want to move to op we know it's o a a p okay and we are lucky because now you already know what is our our ap so we have my o a is a and my OP is this one here. So when you simplify this, you're supposed to get 5 out of 2A, then minus 3 out of 2B. Okay? But it's very easy to see that my A is 2,4 and my B is 4,6. So write them in column form. So I have my 2, 4, then 3 over 2, then I have my B, which is 4, 6, okay? This my 2 and 4, 4 and 6 are these endpoints of a line segment here. So uh, then I simplify here, and I'm going to get, um, this is 5 over 2 times 2, that's, that's a 5. 5 over 2 times 4, that's a 10. Then minus 3 over 2 times 4, that's a 6. 3 over 2 times 6, you have a 9. So when you simplify here, you're going to get 5 minus 6, is a negative 1. 10 minus 9, you get a 1. So we are comfortably at a point where we have located our P, which is negative 1. That's the X value and y value is a 1 here so that's the coordinate of p okay that divides the line segment ab externally in the ratio of negative 3 
is to 5. So my second approach is, uh, and by the way, before I move to the second approach, this one is more or less like ratio theorem, which says that if you have a line segment and a point P divides externally or in whatever ratio, either internally or externally, the, the, the formula for that is M over M over M plus N into A vector plus N. So here we have N and here we have M into M plus N uh, B vector. Okay, so that is the ratio theorem. So and you can see if my M is negative 3 and my N is 5, that is why we started with a 5 somewhere here out of the sum and then we have our n which is which is this one so this is our this is our n this is our m and you can see n is related so that it's, it's, it's multiplied by a here and our m is multiplied by b just like the way we have this formula for the ratio theorem now the second approach is more or less like a formula so which is why i want us to do it very quickly so assuming that you have uh, ratios k l and in this case I want to use the ratios given so our ratios are negative 3 is to 5 so k for negative 3 and l for 5 and you're dividing a line segment a b so this is what you you do to get um, your point p that divides the line segment so we take 2 4 here for our a and b we have um four six and so my coordinates of p will be given by so this is what you do you take um l x1 plus k x2 divide by the sum of the ratios comma then you take um l y1 plus k y2 it's more or less like the formula of a midpoint though we have coefficients involved so if you look at that then you substitute what you have this is my x1 y1 x2 y2 and you can see that the order doesn't matter so that which is why even if you have a negative here or here that order is immaterial right so let's substitute very quickly we have l is um, 5 times x1 which is a 2 uh, plus k is negative 3 times uh, x2 which is a 4 and we have the sum which is the same as subtraction here 5 minus 3 and then we have 5 times 4 uh, plus minus we have a 3 times y2 is a 6 and then over the sum which is more or less like a minus so my coordinate of p we have this is 10 minus 12 divided by 2 and then this other one is 20 minus 18 divided by 2 simplify so p becomes um, 2 over 2 negative here and then we have um, 2 over 2 here and so p is negative 1 comma 1 so we have the same answer just like the way we got this one here so that is how you're supposed to approach this question i think it's not a difficult one it only depends on whether you know how to go about it thank you